In this video, I'm going to be working out the. Um, I'm basically going to be solving this problem, which involves working out the the molarity of a solution of an acid. Which after after adding it, after diluting it by adding, um, after mixing it with water, and then after that, I'm going to be working out the pH of the solution, which I've produced in the end. Okay, so the question says, work out the molarity of a solution of sulfuric acid. H2SO4 that is created by mixing 150 milliliters of 0.4 moles per dm cubed of H2SO4 with 450 milliliters of H2O. And then if you need to calculate total volume of the solution, two volumes additive. added. And then work out the pH of the final solution. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is tackle the first part. And the way I'm going to tackle this is first, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the number of moles in the first solution. So the two values I've got here are the concentration and the volume. So the concentration is equal to, let me decrease the size of my pen. The concentration C is equal to 0 0.4. Well, that's a bit too small now. Okay. 0 0.4 moles per dm cubed. And the volume is equal to 100 and... I think that's 130, 130 milliliters. Actually, hold on, let me check. No, it's 100, yes, yeah, 150 actually. 150, 50, 100. And All right, my pen went white. 150. Um, centimeters cubed. Uh, milliliters is basically the same as one centimeter cubed. So the volume is 150 centimeters cubed. And the equation I'm going to use for this is the equation of uh, converting these values into moles, but taking into account the fact that the concentration is, I mean, the volume is in centimeters cubed. So number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. So therefore, to find out the um, the number of moles, what I need to do is multiply this by this, but since the volume in this particular equation is meant to be dm cubed, what I need to do is divide the result by a thousand. So that, that means I get the equation number of moles equals concentration times volume divided by 1000. And so therefore the number of moles is equal to um, 0 0.4 times 150 divided by 1000. And this gives me the answer of, uh, and you can try and work this out as well. 0 0.4 times 150 divided by 1000 and that gives me 0 0.06 0 0.06 so that's the number of moles of uh h2so4 in the um, original solution now what i need to do is take this value and find out the concentration of the final solution and in order to do that, I need to find the volume because we, I need the two values, number of moles and volume to work out concentration. So the volume is basically equal to 150 plus 450 since these two values, the values are, uh, it says the volumes are additive. So 450 plus 150 gives me, um, yes, 500, 600, 600. So the total vol volume is going to be 600 cm cubed. And so now using this information, I can work out the, uh, the, con the volume, I mean, yeah, the concentration. And so what I need to do is rearrange this equation. So right now, uh, I have the equation number of moles equals concentration times volume uh, divided by 1000. So if I want to work out the concentration, what I need to do is rearrange this. So concentration equals number of moles multiplied by 1000 divided by the volume. And so therefore I get that the concentration is equal to number of moles, which is 0 0.06, that's moles, 0 0.06 uh, multiplied by 1000 divided by the volume in cm cube, which I got, which was 600, 600. And this gives me the answer of, and you can try work this out as well, 0 0.06 times 1000 divided by 600 is 0 0.1 equals 
0.1. So the concentration of H2SO4 in the final solution is 0 0.1. So the concentration of H2SO4. These square brackets just mean concentration. Equals 0 0.1 moles per dm cubed. In the final in the in the final solution after you've added the water. And now what we need to do is go from this step to working out the uh, the pH. So the answer to the first part is I, is what I've calculated. Um, the molarity is uh, 0 0.1 moles per dm cubed. And if we're representing it with the, the molar term, well, my pen is acting. I, let me just pause the video. I need to fix it. Okay, I think I fixed it. Um, so the molarity would be, if I was using that big M that they used, um, would be 0 0.1 M. M represented moles per dm cubed. And now the question says, work out the pH of the final solution. And in order to do this, we need to know the equation which relates the the concentration the concentration of the acid to the uh, pH. Now, what we actually do when we're working out pH is we look at um, a specific value, which is the concentration of H plus ions present in the solution. And although we we say we're looking at this in the equation. We're actually looking at the concentration of H3O plus ions, since H3O plus is what's uh, the H the H plus is all joined to H2O molecules, since the the H2O has lone pairs. Anyway, but focusing on this, uh, in order to find out the concentration of H plus, what we need to do is um, we need to take a look at the actual formula of the acid. And the formula of the acid is H2SO4. Now, you probably know that H2SO4 is a strong acid. And what this means is that H2SO4, when you add it to solution, so when you add this to water, uh, dissociates completely. And what that means is it separates completely into um, SO4 2 minus and H plus ions and 2 H plus ions. And so what 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 the way you can work out the concentration of H plus since we know that for every mole of H2SO4 we get two moles of H plus ions so yeah I didn't write this equation up properly but yeah plus two H plus ions that means since we have H2 you see and not just like H which we have in like HCl or something like that we have H2 so we need to take that into account so what we need to do is multiply this 0.1 m by 2 and if we multiply it by 2, we get 0.2 M. And so this is the concentration of H plus ions in the solution. Now, using that concentration, we need to use a certain function which relates the concentration of H plus ions to the pH. Now, the equation which relates it is that pH equals the negative of the log in base 10 of the concentration of H plus ions. And log in base 10 if you would just write put press the button of log in your calculator that's the default value log in base 10 so all you need to do is write press the log button on your calculator uh so minus log 10 and then the concentration of the ph which in this question is going to be equal to minus log in base 10 of uh 0 0.2 and that gives us uh minus log uh, 0 0.2 that gives us a value of 0 0.699 0 0.699 to three significant figures therefore pH or pH I mean pH equals 0 0.699 to three significant figures. So this would be your answer here, 0 0.699. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful.